artist conversation. <clears throat> I'm sorry, over here, man. Uh, J. Cole. Whoa. It's crazy. So, so, um, I never interviewed somebody before, bro. <laughs> it's cool, man. We just gonna talk. It'll be All right. easy. All right, um, so, so, as an artist, you know, I, I make, I make movies. So, um, I've never seen, I'm, you know, young, I've never seen somebody uh, take something that I made and, re, and, re, and rework it or reperform it, make it their own. And when we spoke, you said that you'd never seen somebody perform your music live in front of you. So what would what, what, what that feel like just now? Nah, I, I got chills. First of all, we got to give her a round of applause. She killed that. That was crazy. Um, no, I got chills watching it, and I was just... Uh, grateful and, and thankful like being seeing it in front of me it was just like I felt like I was I was grateful to even it's almost like I didn't write that song you know and then to realize that I did it was like oh man it was bigger than me like that's you know that was for a bigger purpose because it, it says so much and it's like it was almost grateful like oh God let me be a part of that okay I appreciate it thank you so watching that was like a surreal very weird moment that I just had. And to let y'all know he was right, I can't, um, not that I can't, but in order for me to perform that song, I have to return to a place I mentally and like emotionally, I wouldn't be able to get up and, uh, and just perform it. I would have to dive into a place that like is really hard to get to. Um, so, so, and she did way better than I could do anyway, so it's cool. <laughs> So, so um, tell me about what it felt like to write that song. Just going back to that, cause I, I, I made a film. I made a film that was based off a, off of seeing seeing video footage of, of somebody like who looked like me being murdered from where I was from. And and, and I, when you told me that you didn't, you, can, you can't perform that song, I understand, cause I can't I can't watch that movie. I can't even hear it. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, but but tell me how, where your mind was at when you wrote it and 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 how I felt to get it out and, and... It's crazy. Even you saying that, the parallel between, I didn't, I mean, obviously, I, when the Oscar Grant thing happened, I saw the video too. This is before I was on with music and I, I never forget that image. So when I saw you, when I heard about your film and I seen it, I just want to let you know, bro, and every time I see it, I break down crying. Like, I can't, I can't control it. Like, I'm, it's leaking. So you, you really did... You really did that man justice in his story, justice with a real classic that's going to, you know, stand the test of time. So I got to commend you for that. But it's funny because that same level of, like, crying and, like, breaking down that I, that I experienced just from watching your film is exactly what uh, inspired the song in a sense, but I gotta, it's gonna be a long story, but I, got, I feel like I gotta tell it because I feel like it's so relevant. I was in a place where I was working on an album, my last album that came out, I was in the middle of finishing it. So I was kinda in a, you know, like an artistic, I separate myself, I don't really watch the news much, um, I'm not on like social media, I, I kinda detach myself and I just go in a mode where I got this message that I wanna give and this story I wanna tell and I stay in that zone. Um, so there had been uh, stories, and I'm in New York at the time, and you know, Eric Gardner's situation had happened. And around this time, a lot of things were happening, but to me, it was like, they're always happening. And I feel like with a lot of us, it's, it's like that. You know, it's like, especially back, especially a couple years ago, it's like, oh, these things are always happening. We become so numb to it. So it was to a place where it was like, I almost didn't even want to hear about it because it, it was like, too real to handle. So the video was out of this man getting choked by police officers and I just couldn't bring myself to watch it because I just didn't want to go to that place. Um, and it's similar to like, you know, being back home in Fayetteville or like anywhere and like you hear about somebody you came up with or somebody that you don't know that's black 
and young getting killed, and it's almost like you just, we so used to it that it's just like, we give it, we give it like, man, I ask, you know, we give it that that's messed up, that's crazy, they out here wilding, but do we really dive in and really understand how, how not normal that is, you know? And I feel like I gave it the generic, like, man, that's messed up, cops always doing this, but I ain't allow myself to feel because I wouldn't watch the video. Fast forward, the Mike Brown situation happens, and I just happened to catch it live, whether it be on social media or through the news, and, um, and I allowed myself to follow it. I'm looking at the stories of, of people that's, that's there watching, talking about how this boy didn't do nothing, like they shot him while he was running away, then he was facing him, no gun, and they killed him. So I'm watching this, and I'm, I'm, following, I'm following everything, and I'm allowing myself to like put myself, not just hear about it, not just like say, oh, that's messed up, that, you know, but to actually realize like, yo, I put myself in his shoes. He's me. And you live through it. Yes, I allow myself to like put myself in his shoes and be in that moment where we all know as young black men, we know that moment where you're dealing with a police officer, just like Oscar Grant, where you're dealing with a, a police officer who's on a power trip. And it's like, you could see from the mannerisms, it's like, oh, yo, this can go bad real quick. And you know that feeling. So I allow myself to, uh, instead of like blocking it, I allow myself to feel that with the Mike Brown situation. And I got so scared and I got so mad. So then after, you know, after reading, I think it was like a, uh, maybe even like a, a Ta-Nehisi Coates article that I read and just started breaking down crying when I was reading the article. And, um, and I, actually the crying didn't start until I, I allowed myself to finally watch the Eric Gardner video. Mm. And when I watched it, it just, bro, the same emotion I got from watching Fruvel is, is the same emotion I felt in my apartment reading that article and allowing myself to feel. Right. And I just told myself, I, first of all, I allowed myself to feel that, cry for as long as I needed to cry. And then I told myself, I was like, you know what? I, I told God, I was like, yo, I would like to say something, like in a song. I'm not going to force it. If it comes, it comes. If it don't come, it, it don't come. But I would like to be able to be a voice. And lo and behold, that night I was working on something totally different, bro, like a whole nother song. And that it just happened organically. I know that's a long thing, but the reason Not why I say that, good. the reason why I say all of that is because I feel like the majority of people, at least that I know, and maybe the majority of us, we go through life numb like that. We it's go to force numbness. Yes. Yeah, it's a force it's like numbness. we don't even want to hear it or yeah, deal with it. Yeah, no, I, I, that's, it's interesting, bro, because because like listening to your music lately, and I think a lot of, I think a lot of, um, music that's coming from black males in our generation is we getting, we getting more comfortable showing the pain that we live with every day. You know what I mean? It's, 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 becoming, it's becoming more comfortable to, 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 to speak out. I think that you are there, Kendrick's there. You know what I mean? Like a lot of, these, a lot, a lot of, a lot of folks who, who, if you'd have run the clock back to the 90s, where it was tougher to, to express the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time dealing with this. My friends, my, all my friends is locked up or dead. You know, like I went through, this, I went through that with, with, with the premiere for, for, uh, for Creed. You know, with my fiance in a hotel, and um, you know, it's MGM and Warner Brothers are like, make, give us your, give us your guest list, whoever you want to come to see the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and I was putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and they're like, hey, send us your guest list, send us your guest list. You know what I mean? What the hell is going on with your guest list? And um, and I sat down with her in a hotel, and she's like, all right, who you want to come to see the movie? And we start writing down names, and then I run out of names, cause, cause all my partners I grew up with who I wanted to see the movie, they gone. You wow. know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know, and, 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 you know, you know, we put a shield up. It's tough to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And and it's tough to deal with the lies, man. You talk about Tony Hesey Coast and just reading reading his work when he putting out his feelings. I realized that 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 the phrase that that's been used to describe what what what, what our people go through on the streets every day, whether it's in Fayetteville or whether it's where I'm from, you know, this idea of black on black crime, right? I realized from Tiny Easy Coast that it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, that, that term, that phrase shouldn't even be coming out of our mouths. You know what I'm saying? And it had been coming out of my mouth while I was on, you know what I mean? Right. On, you know. Right. But I think just from artist to artist, you know what I'm saying? We work in different mediums, you know what I mean? But, you know, I just gotta say thank you, bro. Like, like when you put your work out and you express what you're going through, it made me feel less like an alien, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. And I feel the same about you. Like, I'm looking at what you're doing. 
I mean, bro, from the moment I saw that movie, like, and then now to see what you're doing as you elevate and, and even take on bigger tasks, like, bro, you're staying so true. It's so rare. I don't think it's ever happened, bro. Like, you got to think about it. First of all, you put together this. This is crazy. Bro. Nah, it's just a, it's a group of us, bro. It's a group. <laughs> it's a lot of okay. us. Okay. <laughs> it's a group, and much love to the group. But, but you asked me, you know what I mean? You, you reached out to me, like you, I, and I'm sure you went hard for a lot of other people. So like, I'm just, get, I'm just letting it be known. Like, bro, you ascending to a new level and, uh, and keeping uh, it many, authentic. Hey, keep it a hundred. How many youngsters was here to see Jay Carr? <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Hey, hold on. Mr. Mr. Bella, Mr. Belafonte said it, man. The movement was done by what? Teenagers, right? How many teenagers came because Carr was on the docket? So it ain't no me, bro. Like it's it's us. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's us. I appreciate it. My my point is that just to just to let you know, like, I think you're doing something that that I don't think has been done before. Like, like, and I you know, not in my generation. And and you you it's a level of authenticity, bro. When I when I hear you talk, I'm like, I know this dude. They letting this dude make <laughs> What's got like? I wonder the same thing, you bro. Got, like <laughs> you don't even gotta fake it. So, bro, I'm proud of you. And like, yeah, likewise, I, bro, it's us, bro. That's yeah. crazy, bro. You, you like, you killing it. So, 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 how you doing for your for your flight? You, you you good? Can you do Can you do one more question for you? Bro, I can do as many questions as you want. I'm All straight right. Delta. <laughs> Delta's not tripping. I'm good. How did How did getting married change you, bro? Oh, what is that, you my man? I told you I never interviewed somebody before. Is that off limits? Yeah, that was like, oh, my bad, bro. That was like, <laughs> there was like one thing to not do. Was, no, I'm just joking. I'm joking. No, it's all good. It's all good. Nobody know? Well, they know now. Oh. That was cool, though. That's like a black, that's like a black history moment. <laughs> They're never going to forget that. But now, can I, can I say something yeah, just, about, just about this event? And I, I made it on, uh, <laughs> get off of that. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, we, of course, bro, what are you talking about? No, but this is serious, because if you're saying one question, I want to, like, be able to just say how I feel about the event that y'all put on. And I walked in, uh, I got to see the, the Malcolm speech from, from Andre, which was crazy. <laughs> and to hear Mr. Belafonte speak, and, and give his speech and like just to see the parallels and I know that's why y'all put this on was to like drive that message home but it's crazy how how those things are I mean it's it's inspiring but it's also a little disheartening it's a lot of things for me but it's crazy how much of that stuff is still all of it is still so relevant and I'm I'm curious to know and I would love to like talk about it it's like how do we stop it from being a cycle of like great leaders who have great things to say and like who know but it's like and fight so hard to spend their whole lives fighting but then we i don't want these same i don't want to have to do this 50 years from now and then they they you know they quoting you or like quoting whoever and it's the same thing so it's like i wonder what we have to do to to like stop that cycle i have some ideas i don't like there's no concrete ideas but i have a feeling of course, economic power, I absolutely agree with that. But I feel like even before that's possible, it's like we got to turn our sights, like, from outward at the system, which is totally wrong, like, completely wrong. But we got to turn our sights from, like, looking outward at the system and how wrong it is to, like, inward and, like, how we've been affected by it and, and how we can, like, work every day to, like, clean ourselves like, we got to clean, it's, we, we poison, bro. It's like a lot of poison. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm like totally enlightened. Like, no, I see, but that doesn't mean I'm not affected by what I grew up seeing. We grew up watching ourselves be criminals on TV. We grew up watching ourselves be criminals in the movies. We grew up watching ourselves be gangster rappers. We grew up watching ourselves being a lot of things, uh, video girls. We, we grew up with this. So it's like a level of like, 
I feel like self-reflection and honesty that we got to have. And instead of like marching on Washington, which we've been doing for a long time, it's like we got to really march on the hood and like march on ourselves <laughs> and like and, and try to wake each other up like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, which I know we do. That's what this is doing. But I feel like if we don't if we don't find a way to like truly love ourselves first and like wipe out that 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 lack of self-worth that's been established, then that then that economic power can never actually truly happen. And then even the success we get in America, we only feel like we're successful because we're doing things that white people will already did. It's like I'm the first, I'm the first judge. I'm the first black judge in Oakland, or I'm the first, I was like, yeah, congratulations. But you only happy because there, there was white people that was doing it and now you're doing it. It's like, but, but what are you doing for us? Who's gonna make the first store in the hood that's not for profit? It just, it's just a store. Nobody's, nobody's making profit off the store. So I feel like watching those things was inspiring, but I felt like, man, everybody was aiming at the system, aiming at the system. And no, and I'm sure they were, but it's like, I feel like we got to aim, spend more, way more energy aiming at ourselves and like trying to fix ourselves. So that, that's what I'm looking at. Like, okay, I'm rambling right now, but that's, you know, that's the gist. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I, used to, I used to feel, I used to feel this, like I, I, used, I used to feel like, uh, yeah, it's true. I, I felt exactly the same way. I, I still feel that same way, but I feel like, I feel like when you, you know, when you wash your hands, bro, like both hands is, is, is washing, you know what I'm saying? So I, so I think that we gotta look, we gotta look inward, but at the same time, recognize what's, which outside forces made us, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, like, and, for and, sure. And, and, and just, it just, and, 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 it, and it's real easy, like, it's real easy to, to get caught, like, I, I used to get caught up blaming, I used to get, I used to blame, like, yeah, everything was, was like black on black crime. Like how, how can we how can we be mad at at at, uh, at police officers for shooting us if we shoot ourselves? Right? You hear this a lot, and a lot of times when you go to to somebody else outside of the community and you say, hey, you know, um, these people who, who we pay our tax dollars to to fund their bullets and they they, they change and, and and they come in here and they kill our kids for no reason. And they say, hey, but you don't say nothing when all of the black kids are killing kids. You know what I mean? That's kind of like a trump card. That's the, the worst. That I used to use a trump card that I used to that I used to take and accept. You know what I'm saying? I used to be like, oh man, you're right. I'm like, what's wrong with us, man? We just we just kill each other. You know what I mean? Like there's something wrong, there's something wrong with, 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 with us. I think it's because our low, our low self-worth and all these different things. You know, till I till I actually looked at the mathematics, and I looked at the mathematics recently, like crime occurs, you know, I rob who I'm next to. You know what I'm saying? So all crime generally looks you know, d demographically segregated. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, like, it's 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 a high rate of if I'm an African American man, I'm gonna get killed by another African American man. But if I'm a white man, it's a high rate that I'm gonna get killed by a white man. It's the same rate basically, with the, with the, with the few of the, the same percentage points. But when but when it happens in a white community, nobody says, "Hey, what's up with all this white on white crime?" You know, so they just say it was a you know it was a it was a you know, you know it was it was it was some violence. You know what I'm saying? And, and as long as we live in, I mean, cold, as long as we live in neighborhoods where it's easier to get access to a gun or drugs than it is to get access to a job. You're gonna have violence, and you're gonna have these lifestyles. You know what I'm sure. saying? We can, me and you, we can, we can make money making movies, making music, and look back and say, hey, what's up? But if 90% of us, all they see, scratch a video, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta turn the video where I'm from to see you know, what, what you saw in the movies, and what you, same with you, right? For sure. Yeah, so, so my uncle getting money this way, my mom's getting money this way. You know, so, you know my, my father locked up, and this, that, and the third. And it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know what I mean? And I think that we gotta just watch both hands. We gotta look at outside and inside. I agree, I 100% agree. But I feel like, I feel like to that point, and you're absolutely right, you gotta be aware. You gotta be, you gotta get your knowledge up, period. You gotta be completely aware of what's Education. happening on the outside. But I feel like if you do not master inside first, Outside is a waste of time. Like, it is truly a waste of time. Because what's gonna happen when you, when you change the system and you overthrow the system? You still broke. You still broke, you, you broken inside. You, you're gonna end up repeating the same cycle. That's, it happens over time in, in history, period. There's a revolution, new people take power, right. and then the same thing ends up happening. Why? Because those people that took power was no poisoned by the, they was poisoned by the same things that they grew up. So I absolutely agree with you, but I feel like if we had to choose one first, Fix don't, exactly. don't, be, don't be naive to what's going on into the system, right. but 
it becomes so much more irrelevant once you start powering up yourself and in your community. It's like, well, well, we clicked up over here and we all know and we all loving each other. So it's like, I understand what you're saying, but I feel like that first, you can have this and, and the outside will get fixed. Right. But you cannot fix the outside without without fixing inside because it's going to lead to disaster is what I, is what I think. You right. know what I mean? But I, I totally understand right. what you no, mean. I wish y'all agree with you 100%. I just feel like we think we can fix the outside. Like some, we can work on the outside and the inside at the same time. I agree with that. Back. For sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> we need, by the way, I feel like... <laughs> nah, I just feel like this is... I feel like this is healthy. Like, <laughs> bro, this is too... This is, this is two young black men having intelligent dialogue about what's actually happening right now in the middle. Like, I'm gonna say thank you for including me with this, on, bro. bro. Thank you for and like, I, this is an honor to just Stop be here, bro. Me, bro. Nah, for real, thank you, bro. For real. It's good, man. We, we, are, we, are, we are part of the same body. Rub my hand, don't wake up and thank the other hand. You just Ooh. move, you know what I'm saying? So, so let's keep moving, you feel me? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y